Hi all, you are watching Similar Tutorial, and today we are going to see the difference between state action versus condition action. So let's start. So the repeating sequence state block is for input to the chart, then scope to display output. So both charts have two states, same states. Only the difference between them is how actions are taken for conditions. So let's see these charts logic one by one. So this is state action chart. So you can see here that in is input for this chart and out is output. States are defined as state 1 and state 2. So this is the default transition. So by default the chart will enter at state 1. So the out equal to 1 is the entry action for state 1. So it will be executed when the chart enters state 1. So as soon as state enters state 1, state 1 becomes active and it executes its entry action. Now if the condition input greater than 5 becomes true, it will go from state 1 to state 2 and the entry action of state 2 will be executed. So state 2 will remain active till input is greater than 5. Once input is less than or equal to 5 becomes true, it will go from state 2 to state 1 and it will execute state 1 entry action. So that's how this state action chart works. Now let's have a look at condition action chart. So by default the chart will enter state 1. But now you can see here there is no entry action in this state. So what will be the output? So you will know that at the time of simulation. Now the state 1 is active. So when the input greater than 5 condition becomes true, it will go from state 1 to state 2. But before that, that is before entering the state 2, it will execute this condition action that is output that is out is equal to 2. So after the execution of condition action, state 2 becomes active. So when the condition input less than or equal to 5 becomes true, condition action is executed that is out is equal to 1 and state 1 becomes active. So let's go one level up and simulate this model and see what results we are getting. So let's observe the plots. So the first plot is input. Second is the state action chart output. And the last one is condition action chart output. So initially the chart enters state 1. So for state action chart, entry action is executed. So output is 1. But for condition action chart, since there was no entry action, the output is 0. So as long as the input is less than 5, that is no chart makes transition to state 2, output will be 1 for state action chart and 0 for condition action chart. So once the input greater than 5 condition becomes true, both charts have output 2 but for state action chart it is due to state action that is state entry action while for condition action chart it is due to condition being true action. So that's the difference between state versus condition action. If you want to check how or in what order charts get executed you can use the animation feature of state flow so all you have to do is go to simulation state flow animation and select if you want to see the execution fast medium or slow i have kept it as slow so now if you simulate this you can see the execution If we go to condition action chart and simulate,
so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning